With so many people focused on the COVID vaccine, drug makers have quietly been raising the price on hundreds of brand name prescription drugs. I thought it was a misprint. I honestly was shocked. Up Kate Johnson saw the price of her medication for an autoimmune disorder skyrocket from $30 to $80 for a three month supply. My insurance is the same and I called the pharmacy right away and I said, this can't be right. And they said, yes, it is. The price hike came with no warning, forcing and the Russian woman to, to reshuffle her household are, budget. You know, luckily I'm still working, but many consumers who, who need medications daily aren't working. And so to have that, that boost is just in prices is unbelievable. So why the increase and why now? Tori Marsh of GoodRx tracks prescription drug prices. Every July and every January, we see drug manufacturers, uh, you know, increase prices on drugs. This January, we saw the most increases ever. In the month of January, drug makers increased the price of roughly 800 different prescriptions with an average price hike of more than 4%. Many of these are already really expensive brand only drugs that don't have any affordable alternatives. The price increases are for a drug's list price or the official price set by the manufacturer. In reality, almost no one pays the list price because of rebates and discounts. But research shows price changes do eventually trickle down to consumers, affecting what you and I pay at the pharmacy. We would think they'd wait, because um, this is when we're probably at our worst right now with COVID. As a consumer, there are a few things you can do to reduce prescription drug costs. First, shop around. Yeah, I was hoping to check a couple uh, prices if I could. In a 2018 KGW investigation, we saved over $500 on common prescription drugs by comparing prices at pharmacies in the same town. We shop around for our TVs. We shop around for uh, cell phones, you know, but one thing that isn't normal right now is shopping around for prescription drug and healthcare in general. You can also save by checking out buying clubs like Costco or Sam's Club and don't need to be a member. Consider online pharmacies. They often have low prices. Ask for in-store discounts and shop for coupons online. And finally, talk to your doctor. Ask if you really need a drug in the first place. And if it is necessary, ask how much that prescription is going to cost. That little bit of persistence and research can help you save at a time when drug makers are raising prices. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.